Happy New Year! Wishing you and your family a prosperous 2019. My name is Harold Q. Gordon and I brand myself as the Millennial Wealth Planner. I believe that hashtag YOLO and financial freedom can be achieved by everyone as long as you are dedicated, determined, and disciplined to pursue your dreams. In the next few minutes, I'll share with you five millennial hacks for you to achieve financial freedom at the same time live hashtag YOLO. So millennial hack number one have a written budget. Sabi nga nila, a goal not written is, is just a wish. Same with our finances, we need to write them down. There is power in writing it down. So, kung may magtatanong sa'yo, magkano nga ba kinita mo last 2018? San mo nga ba ginastos yung pera mo noong 2018? Can you answer it up to the single centavo? How we spend our money can tell our priorities and what will be our financial future. So for me, I use the app spending. So, pwede mo ilagay doon saan mo kinita yung pera, source of income, and then yung expenses such as transportation, food, travel, and the like. And what's good with that app is that it sends you a monthly report for you to analyze saan ko nga ba ginastos yung pera ko, magkano nga ba kinita ko, and it will help you to plan for the next month on how you will do your budget. So to further help you in budgeting, I created an article, and the link is placed in this post. So I budgeting the ECB. So, millennial hack number two, make savings your first expense. The foundation of wealth is the ability to create profit. And for us to secure our monthly profit, we need to follow this formula. Income minus expense is equal to profit. How much do we really need to save? Is it 10%, 20%, 30%, 50%? So, it depends on how much you earn. It depends on your lifestyle. It depends on your obligations. Pero what I suggest is to save at least 10% of your monthly expenses for your future. It's also important to have an emergency fund. So an emergency fund is 3 to 6 months of your monthly expenses. So this is for unforeseen uh, expenses such as minor illnesses, for, uh, for medicines, uh, minor repairs, car repairs, house repairs, and the like. So take note. Habang tumataas yung lifestyle mo, dapat tumataas din yung emergency fund mo. Anything in excess of the emergency fund should be invested because of inflation. So, so millennial hack number three, get out of debt fast. So the number one hindrance in financial freedom is debt. The interest that you are paying in debt should be the interest you, you are earning from your investments. So don't get me wrong, there are two kinds of debt, good debt and bad debt. So, ano nga ba yung bad debt? Bad debt is for consumption, such as eating out, traveling, buying the latest gadgets, gadgets and clothing, and, and the like. So, good debt, on the other hand, if your debt is for buying assets, uh, assets that gives you money in the future, such as rental income, investment, that is good debt. As long as, syempre, you have sufficient emergency fund, you are well protected, and you have a sound business plan. So, when you are tempted to use bad debt, always remember these two, two things. So first, if you cannot pay in cash, you cannot afford it. And what Dave Ramsey always says, we buy things we don't need with money we don't have in order to impress people we don't like. The idea is to live within our means, or better yet, to live below our means. If you want to increase your lifestyle, then find ways to increase your income. So. You might want to join our profession and to spread financial literacy to the Filipino people and at the same time, earn from it. So to help you break the shackles of debt, I also placed a link to an article I wrote uh, which is placed in this post. So millennial hack number four, ensure your future. We millennials are risk takers and we are willing to take all the risk for us to achieve our dreams. And in order for us to take those risks with a peace of mind, we should have a comprehensive insurance plan. So insurance will make sure we don't sell our assets and get into debt when life happens such as accident, disability, or critical illness like stroke, cancer, and heart attack. So to learn more why we need to have life insurance even if we are single, I also created uh, an article about it. So it's entitled, uh, Why You Need Life Insurance Even If You're Single Because You Don't Want To Be Like Deadpool. So the link is also placed in the post. So what I love with today's insurance plans is that it has an investment component. So yung premium, hindi lang siya binabayad for your insurance, it is also invested uh, that you can use in the future. So for as low as 1,500 per month, you can have an insurance vest. So millennial hack number five, invest for retirement. According to statistics, only 2% of the Filipino people can retire financially free. 
In 98%, it's either umaasa sila sa family nila, nagtatrabaho pa sila, umaasa sa gobyerno, umaasa sa charity. So, when is the best time to fund your retirement? The best time to fund your retirement is when you receive your first paycheck. Because why? Your 1,500 per month can be millions when you retire. Imagine if you can save more than 1,500 per month. So, you also have leap plans wherein it ensures you for life. At the same time, uh, projects a 1 million fund value after paying for a limited period of time. So, meron kami 5 years, 7 years, 10 years, and 15 years. So, number one, have a written budget. Number two, make savings your first expense. Number three, get out of debt fast. Number four, ensure your future. And number five, invest for retirement. You may ask, nasan yung travel, eating out, play fund, and living the life in the formula? So, it's in the millennial hack number one, have a written budget. But if you are really into personal finance, I have created an ebook for you for free. It's entitled Millennial, A New Definition of Wealth. So, I also posted the link in this post. It is a book for millennials by a millennial. Hope you enjoy it. Again, wishing you and your family an awesome 2019. Happy New Year and God bless.